The Young and the Restless Recap Wednesday, June 28, Jack catches Kyle up to no good, Billy fights for Jebat. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Recap for Wednesday, June 28, reveals that Victor Newman will insist on speaking with Victoria Newman about some unfinished business, and he'll warn that she's not walking out on him this time. After Victor rants about Victoria's unilateral decision to replace Nick Newman, she'll defend that choice and wish that Victor would trust her judgment. Once Victor brings up Nick's concerns about Nate Hastings, Victoria will think Victor should trust her opinion on him too. When Nate walks in Victoria's office, Victor will push for a moment alone with him. That'll give Nate a chance to promise he's up for being Newman Enterprises' interim COO and that he'll hand the position back to Nick when he's ready. After Nate assures Victor that there's no power grab, he'll add that he'd never try anything like he pulled at Chancellor Winters again. Victor will point out that if Nate did, then he'd become Nate's enemy, and Victor wouldn't wish that on anyone. Once Nate confirms that he's crystal clear about Victor's warning, Victoria will return and hope Nate has eased all Victor's doubts. Victor will vow to keep a close eye on things around there before exiting, but Nate and Victoria will hope they won him over. At the Jazz Lounge, Audra Charles will want to buy the next round of drinks and will push Kyle Abbott to get a little more personal. Kyle will be more interested in keeping things light, but Audra will still want to know more about the man behind the well-pressed suit. After Kyle insists he partied with the best of them, He'll admit to raiding the liquor cabinet of the richest guy in New York City and having an affair with his wife. Audra will confess to doing some research on Kyle since their last drink, but she'll claim she doesn't know much other than he's married to her ex's sister. Kyle's reaction will tell Audra to veer back into lighter territory, so she'll tell a story about sleeping with a helicopter pilot and not being afraid of a little danger. Once Audra hints about having some moves, Kyle will slow dance with her before deciding they should call it a night. After Kyle says he's getting a cab, Audra will note that living upstairs has its perks. Near the door, Audra will get Kyle to loosen his tie and undo a button. That'll leave Audra hopeful that maybe there's still a bad boy somewhere inside Kyle. After seeing the press release about Diane Jenkins' promotion to Jabut's chief talent officer, Ashley Abbott will fume over the news. At the Abbott house, Billy Abbott will interrupt Jack Abbott, right as he's about to take Diane out for a celebratory dinner. Billy will unleash his wrath since Jack didn't notify his co-CEO or get any kind approval on Diane's new position. Once Jack sends Diane to get a table at the GCAC, he'll defend his decision and argue that it was well within his rights as CEO, just like it was well within his rights to hire Billy. Even so, Billy will feel like Jack is about to cause an all-out war for Jibot. After Billy warns about Ashley and Tucker McCall plotting something, Jack will downplay the threat. However, Jack will want confirmation that Billy has his back along with Diane's. Billy will admit he's indeed on Jack's side and that he'll support Diane until she gives him a reason not to. At the athletic club, Ashley will make a cryptic phone call and mention that she's definitely pulling the trigger. There will just be a few details to discuss, so Ashley will vow to text the person on the other end later. When Diane arrives, Ashley will be surprisingly calm about her promotion. Diane will be suspicious as Ashley hints about her life taking her in a new direction. Later, Diane will convey her concerns to Jack, but he'll warn that there's no danger of a coup since Ashley doesn't have the majority. Jack will point out that Billy is still behind them for now, so Diane will think they should do whatever they can to keep it that way. After Jack decides that's enough business talk for tonight, he'll want to enjoy a romantic evening with Diane. That plan will go awry when Jack catches Kyle going upstairs. Diane will pick up on the change in Jack's mood, so he'll admit he saw Kyle headed up to a hotel room, though he seemingly won't know about Audra's involvement. When Diane wishes there was something they could do to help Kyle and Summer Newman Abbott, 
Jack will suggest that maybe one more night apart will remind them how much they need each other. In Audra's suite on Wednesday's I and R episode, she'll strip down along with Kyle as they make out and move toward the bed for a hot hookup. Back at the Abbott house, Billy will eat a slice of pie and admit he was hoping to run into Ashley, who will claim she gave up on the Jabot War. When Billy doesn't believe his sister, Ashley will hint about having something up her sleeve. That said, Ashley won't consider it to be anything nefarious. In fact, Ashley will think it's something positive, but she'll refuse to give Billy updates on her plan. The young and the restless spoilers say Ashley will throw Diane and Jack for a loop soon, so stay tuned. CDL's The Place to Be for Fantastic Young and the Restless Spoilers updates and news, so make us your favorite woy and our hotspot. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more update news.